Good morning. A good afternoon. So it's not a pretty sunrise today. It's just me standing on my front porch <laughs> with the rain. So hopefully today you're able to just kind of close your eyes and not worry so much about the view. And hopefully you can drown out the sounds that are not as relaxing as the rain. Whether it's in this video or in the classroom, I want you to practice what it's like to drown out the sounds and the distractions of this world. You have to ground yourself. You have to focus. And for a lot of us that have brains that don't want to slow down just by grounding and breathing, sometimes we have to put other sounds in our ears, like to mute out the vehicles, the yellow jackets, the inevitable distractions that will happen. But we have to focus our mind on something else. And today, as you breathe deeply and slowly and widely, I want you to think about letting go of things that you've been holding on to that need to be released. For me, it's control. I'm having to let go of the control that I attempt to have every day in here, in this space. It's my classroom. It's my, like you guys get to leave, but I get to stay in this space all day. So letting go of the control that I have and the word that I used the other day was surrender. Like what, think about what happens when somebody surrenders. Is it that they throw in the towel and they give up? Is it they raise their hands in the air so somebody doesn't like shoot them? <laughs> what, what does surrender look like to you? But for me, I have to give up. I have to put my hands in the air and let somebody else take over this space that I call mine. But it's really ours. And I have to walk away. I, oof, I just have been challenging people to change their have tos to get tos. And that feels a little different when I say I get to walk away next week. But it feels more like a have to than a get to, even though, I don't know, it's just complicated. So today, today, I don't know what it is for you, but would you surrender something? Can you, in your mind's eye, think about something you have to let go of or walk away from or quit or, I don't know, just, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. It's a hard thing to let go of these things that we want to cling to. Maybe it's forgiveness. Maybe you're holding a grudge. 
But as I was trying to make our new seating chart last night, <laughs> don't judge me. I got emotional. Like, it was weird. It was another, emo- again, we're going to have to start acknowledging that these emotions that you're going to experience through me, there's so many reasons why I get emotional right now. I like to say I'm just really tender to a lot of things right now. So that's not a bad thing, but it's also sometimes embarrassing. Sometimes it's like you feel constantly like people are judging you. It's fine, but sometimes it doesn't feel fine because when you're tender, then you're vulnerable. And then sometimes people inadvertently, not on purpose, um, don't honor or value it or respect it enough just to kind of give you space to have your moment to cry. Um, but some people press in. So the reason behind my tears, I believe, is that I was looking at every, <laughs> I want to say, <laughs> all of y'all's faces. And I'm like, okay, where are you going to sit? Oh, you can't sit next to that person. That's hard for you to be self-controlled when you're near this person or you are obviously feeling like you need to sit next to this person. So let me see if I can stretch you a little bit and put a couple of rows or a couple of chairs between you to see how you do all by yourself or at least sitting in a a new spot. It's interesting how a new seating arrangement can just set some of y'all off. It's, it's interesting to me. Maybe you need to think through what it is about a new seat that really makes you feel the way that you feel. Can you surrender that today? Whatever it is, just know that no matter where you sit in this room, this is a place where you can feel like you can breathe. At least during our mindfulness, breathe well. And then when the mindful moment goes away, carry those practices on throughout the rest of the class. Distracting things need to be put aside surrender the things that are holding you back and keeping you from being your best self. And by the way, these things are the things that stress us out too. Surrender those things. Breathe and find peace. Find the things that you can control. And when you need help, ask for it. When you see somebody struggling, notice. Seniors, I've encouraged you. I've challenged you. I've invited you. I don't know what else to do. But I want for you to start practicing in this space what it looks like to be a person that reminds other people (laughs) of what they can do. Help them refocus. Don't throw judgment their way. Don't throw like, you know, people like be shady and they'll say like something that's like not kind, but it's like judgy and, and like, I'm better than you type of a moment. My seniors, I challenge you to come up, figure out a way, learn, practice what it's like to not be that, but instead in a way that's kind and compassionate, come alongside somebody literally or figuratively to say, Hey, let's practice. Why don't you take a deep breath, be present, remember what you can do. This is what we should be doing. There's another choice that you can make. Let me encourage you to make this other choice. And then when it's all said and done after that reminder, you know what, then it's up to the other person. I don't think that the people need to have multiple reminders. After that, it's up to the sub. After that, it's up to that individual. Or maybe it's somebody else's turn to come alongside of my friend that I see over there that is making a bad choice and now I'm going to come alongside of them in a way that is kind and loving because we have a relationship in a way that I can say something to you in a way that nobody else can so now it's my turn and maybe you just send them a note maybe you pass them a note like we did in the olden days you don't have to do it publicly no one wants to be shamed but anyway 
I sure I'm going to miss you guys. But now everybody's leaving for work and I am late for my shower, so I got to go. But I want to leave you with a mindful moment. And be mindful about how your position in this class where you sit shouldn't change who you are or what you are. Actually, hopefully it'll help you focus more, be less distracted, and to bring your best, all that you can do, and be each day. Now stay in those seats, okay? <laughs> if we need to make changes, let's talk about it, but respectfully, of course, right? All right. Y'all have a great day.